you know, May 1st is tomorrow. May 1st, you know, May being um, historically important month for solidarity, worker solidarity and strikes. Um, and there are some major strikes happening tomorrow. I'm just going to just cover a couple of things. Um, this is a good video on Twitter about the situation. This is a, uh, we don't need to listen to this again. So this is Frederick from Frederick Joseph, um, who works with rent, rent, rent relief. Uh, so yeah, but, you know, people are calling on officials to di give us some help. I don't know, you know, I don't know what kind of success they're going to have by just asking. Um, I don't think, I think we are beyond the point of just asking because I think that it's shown that asking or demanding or imploring is not having any effect. We got to move beyond just asking and, and there's got to be more pressure. There's got to be demands in the way of strikes. So, this is um, happening tomorrow. Workers gear up for major May Day strike and push back against unsafe conditions amid pandemic. So all kinds of companies are going on strike tomorrow. One organizer explained that the goal is to push back with large numbers against the right wing groups that want to risk our lives by reopening the economy. Okay, but it's not just about that. Okay, it's not just about the right wing groups. Yes, they want to reopen the economy and that's ridiculous. Um. But it's about the corporations that are uh, it's about the corporations that are treating these workers so badly. That's what it's about. It's not about the right wing groups. It's about these fucking corporations, okay? Uh, that are not giving their, their workers protections. Um, they're, they're not paying their workers enough money. Um, you know, they're treating them just as badly as they always have been, even though they're still forced to go out and work and uh, be essential workers, you know, to keep the economy going and to keep people fed and to keep people healthy. So that's what we need to be talking about, right? So I don't know uh, what this little, like, byline was or whatever, but um, workers at some of the nation's biggest companies, including Amazon and Target, are preparing to symbolically lock arms Friday. Uh, for a May 1 strike and demand better protections on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic. Whole Foods, Amazon, Target, and Instacart workers are striking on May 1st. So there you go. Don't cross the picket line. If you can, do not, uh, do not do any business with these companies, okay? Stay out of Whole Foods, Amazon, and Target. Uh, do not use Instacart. Among the lead organizers of the action, Motherboard reported Wednesday is Chris Smalls, who is the Amazon worker who was fired last month from his job at a fulfillment center in Staten Island after organizing a protest. We formed an alliance between a bunch of different companies because we all have one common goal, which is to save the lives of workers and communities, Smalls told Motherboard. Right now isn't the time to open up the economy. Smalls added, Amazon is a breeding ground for this virus, which is spreading right now through multiple facilities. Um, Adam Ryan, who works at a Target store in Virginia, is another lead organi organizer of the May Day action. 
Um, he explained to Motherboard that the goal of the strike is to shut down industry across the board and to push back with large numbers against the right-wing groups that want to risk our lives by reopening the economy. Uh, as Motherboard reported, while the mass strike action might not be enough to shut down society, the collective action certainly echoes the calls for a general strike, which hasn't happened yet, a coordinated work stoppage across businesses and industries in pursuit of a common goal, the likes of which have not been seen in the United States since World War II. The workers are demanding their profitable employers provide increased pay and paid leave, health insurance for all workers, and for COVID-19 affected stores to be shut. The workers are also calling on customers to show solidarity by not shopping at the stores on May 1st, according to a flyer shared on social media. The Intercept also reported on the upcoming strike with Daniel Mendino writing Tuesday, the May 1 strike is the latest in a wave of actions led by union and non-union frontline workers. Last month, Amazon workers in New York City and more than 10,000 Instacart workers across the country staged a walkout. Whole Foods employees led a na national sick out on March 31st, while upwards of 800 workers skipped their shifts at a Colorado meatpacking plant as coronavirus cases were confirmed among employees. Sanitation workers in Pittsburgh and bus drivers in Detroit both staged wildcat strikes. These workers have been exploited so shamelessly for so long by these companies while performing incredibly important but largely invisible labor, said Stephen Breer, a labor historian and professor at the, at the CUNY School of Labor and Urban Studies. All of a sudden, they're deemed essential workers in a pandemic, giving them tremendous, tremendous leverage and power if they organize collectively. May 1 is a celebration of working people around the world. Margaret Kimberly, Kimberly wrote Wednesday at Black Agenda Report, it is the perfect moment to begin to fight for economic justice, which has accelerated due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm also interested in trying to figure out a way to organize people around sitting out, um, sitting out reopening uh, the country, right? Like, so we're already... Self-quarantine, we're already um, staying at home. You know, we've already taken ourselves out of the economy and taken our labor out of the economy. Um, what if there's a way to organize people around just continuing to stay at home or continuing to just not take part in the economy to put some kind of pressure um on the system, on the government, on our leaders. Hey guys, remember to like the video, make sure you're still subscribed and you can support the channel at the links below, PayPal, Square, Patreon, etc. Thank you. Leaders.